So Sam's back for uh, on Essential RC for review of a drone that's been sent to us by Banggood. Um, there's been a, sh a small delay, Sam, with uh, doing this review of this drone because his his uh, his marriage, his wedding to my daughter, uh, got in the way. Now it shouldn't have done, in all honesty, should it, Sam? Because no. this arrived the day before the wedding, <laughs> and during my father of the bride speech. I, I, you know, I thought it'd be quite reasonable to give it to you, so that you could actually flight test it when you're away on your honeymoon. But your 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 new wife thought that wasn't a good idea. Yeah, she wasn't very uh, very pleased with that suggestion, Dom. But <laughs> she wasn't impressed with either of us. No, she wasn't. No, but anyway, we're here now, uh, a cup uh, a few weeks later. Indeed. Um, and uh, what is this? So we've got the Darwin FPV Baby Ape Pro V2. It's a small, a small three and a half inch drone, oh, and it's it only costs about a hundred pound. And the one of the main, the best thing about this drone is a the price, and b it comes with a uh, receiver in already. Um, so there's a ELRS receiver in here, um, and yeah, so you just bind it up. We've got the Radio Master pocket here, which I bound it to, um, and yeah, I mean. Just buy, buy a few two or three S batteries for it, and you're literally good to fly. But the, it's pre-built. Pre-built. All I, I don't do. know if I can't I didn't remember if you mentioned that, but it's pre-built, and sometimes these can these can take quite a lot of effort to put together, can't they? <laughs> yeah, they can. And literally, all I had to do out of the box was put the props on, put the battery in, and job done. Right. So pre-built comes with an ELRS receiver. Mm -hmm. Everything's in included, even the analog FPV in the VTX. So all you've got to do is bind it to your to your uh, to your radio, and we're using the ELS version of the Radio Master Pocket. Yep. So literally, how long did it take you to set it up? Oh, not very long. Literally five ten minutes. Plugged it into Betaflight, installed a few. Well, didn't say installed. Put on a few modes, just arm and things like that. Yeah. Um, and that was it. Receiver, and yeah. Ready to go. Brilliant. Yeah. All right. So uh, Sam's going to give us a demo of it whizzing around. It'll be interesting to see how quick this thing goes. What are you going to run it on? Two or three S? Uh, so we've got three S, uh, 450 milliamp hour batteries. Um, so yeah. All right. And we got those from George at Four Max. He's our favourite local battery supplier. Runs these. Gives us these. Uh, not gives us. <laughs> we pay for um, these uh, 60 C packs that uh, that he has that are. I mean, I use them in EDFs and they're just fantastic. They just deliver the power yeah. constantly, cycle after cycle. So I'd urge people to uh, look those up. I'll put the link in the video description um, and also to to this little ape ready to fly drone as well. All right, so we're gonna show you some footage now of uh, Sam flying this. And with some onboard footage as well we had. Indeed, indeed. So is it literally all you've had to set up is an arming switch, is that right? Or anything else? Acro or...? Um, so you don't have to set up acro or angle, angle mode, but you can do. Um, I did think I set up angle mode on one of the buttons, um, and I can't remember if I actually saved the setting or not. <laughs> it's down to your personal taste, right, as to yeah. what modes you use? Yeah, I mean, it could be a perfect beginner quad if you want to have, like, yeah, the angle that mode That assistance, yeah. yeah. Or you can just full send. And which is what you do, right? Well, yeah. Full send, full crash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. All right, then. All right, let's see how this goes. Right, it's quite punchy. Where's it going? <laughs> I can't keep it level. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite punchy, to be fair. Like, you can... Yeah. You you've done, you can tell that just within the first few seconds. Yeah. Hold on, just hover it there. I'm just going to put this camera in manual mode. Okay, that's better. All right, so just come a bit closer and then give us the... Uh... <laughs> it has, it is really... You're barely touching the throttle, eh? Yeah. Right, I'll go wide. Okay. Yeah? Yep, yeah. go for it. Really? 
All right, so take it um, outfield, burst out outfield, full power. No, not that, up. Oh my God, where are you gone? I mean, outwards. All right, I'm focused on you, go. That's it. Oh, grief, gone. That wasn't even, that was about three quarter power. All right, I'll come back and do full power. All right, so this is acceleration away from us, full power then. Oh, <laughs> what? And that's three S. Yes. Yeah, imagine what four or five or six S would be. Well, this, the limitation on this is three, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's really nippy, it feels like, yeah, you can do any, any, anything you want with it, really, like just start about. Nightmare to film. <laughs> Where's he gone? <laughs> oh, there. All right, so how about from ground? Yes. Park, park it down, put it down. I can't land, by the way, don't Oh, yeah. <laughs> can you not? I'm not a very good lander. <laughs> All right, we'll do it from there and then right, right. straight, straight up. Three, two, one. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> You can catch yourself really easily with it as well, like, and it it does it does fling as well. So when like you come off the throttle, it hangs in the air, and you catch it. Yeah. Small rotation. But you can you can hear the throttle working, right? Yeah. Um, Are you getting um, voltage telemetry in the OSD? So I haven't set it up correctly, because <laughs> normally you Yet. get it per cell, right? Yeah. Um, I've got the total voltage, which is 11.1 .1 right now. You're flying for a few minutes and punching the throttle quite hard. Um, yeah, it seems to be lasting quite long. So you want what, three cell, 3.7 volts per cell. You wouldn't want to go lower than that. So what's that? Uh, it's probably about 11, isn't it? Um, yeah. So we've got a few more packs we can... Uh, we can have more of a play. <laughs> God. I'm not a fan of this. <laughs> Ridiculous. So this is just like a first video, just showing the agility and the power of this. But what we'll do in the future is set up some gates. Yeah. Right, so we can, so you can show the maneuverability around obstacles. I think that would be important if people want to consider this for a, you know, a proper, well, it is a race drone but buying it for their local club and see how they can get around their track. Yeah, because it would do that really well, I think. <laughs> it's really nimble and, yeah, just ample throttle in there as well. So. Uh, lots of power. Yeah. Great, all right. Thanks very much, Sam. Enjoyed that. Absolute nightmare to film. We won't be doing any more drain reviews because <laughs> I can't, just can't follow the things. But uh, I'm, pretty, I'm really impressed with that for a hundred bucks you know, less your uh, your battery and your transmitter, then it's a bit of a winner. It is. All right, cheers, mate. Cheers, guys. All right, so this is acceleration away from us, full power then. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> and that's three S. Yeah, imagine what four or five or six S would be. Well, this, the limitation on this is three, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh.